It's your girl Sandy and I am back with another video and this one is actually the first time I am setting my goals. Um, what goals do I have in place? Um, what do I expect to achieve and let's not talk so much. Let's get into this video. Okay. First things first, I had a few announcements, um, a few changes that is going on. I do want to explain some things. I do have, and as you can see, I do have a new planner cover. And what does those initials PC? Cause for many reasons. Um, those that don't know, sorry, I mean just myself. <laughs> for those that don't know, I am opening a sticker shop in June. Um, and actually it's called Planner Craving. So that's what these initials are for. And the craziest thing about it is with these initials, I've noticed that, hello, these are also my son's initials. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is, but there's a reason why I do still have this. So I, you know, I do still have my actual personalized one. Um, and this was personalized as well, but they had a sale. So I decided to buy another case for, I mean, cover. So yeah and oh you also have our handy dandy black cherry merlot made with essential oils from bath and bot i mean bath and body works yes um yeah i'm pretty excited about this candle because you know you guys i can't I, I love my candles so without further ado let's let's get this going right now let's get this going here we go might change up the mood some Woo! all right <clears throat> So at this moment, you see that I have, and it's like, it's burning really nicely here. We can put that over there. Ah, it smells so good. Okay. So at this moment, guys, I have a new planner cover. Uh, planner Craving is my new Instagram where I will be giving updates on my planner stickers. I am in a process of figuring out what exactly what kind of planner stickers do I want to come out with so I have a few ideas that I'm putting together um, and like I said I will release some more information with on that soon but like the 3rd of June is the actual shop that will be open so wish me luck on that and also hopefully I bring you guys something that you know just hopefully my designs you guys are like so Without further ado, let's get into this planner. So first things first, I never ask and I need to. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right on the bottom. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also click that bell to receive notifications when I post videos. So this is my whole April spread. And right now, it's looking pretty full. I'm pretty excited about it. I've created the banners, um, the days, the the stickers. The pink stickers are from Shea Budgets, um, and this was a Shea Budgets inspired. If you don't know, um, what happened is I've ordered the wrong size, so I ended up making something to help my, you know, help with because I wanted to use the colors that she used, and then I'm using her stickers for um, these. So right now. Here's a little sneak peek of what's going on. We already did the depth tracker. If you haven't seen it, the, but the April budget is here. And then this page, we're going to do, of course, my paychecks. When I get those, my goals, my sinky funds, and my cash envelopes. So that is all that I got going on here. But today we are doing goals. Um, let's go get through that. So. Right now, today we are going to be using the metallic markers that I had explained in my last video from American Crafts. Um, this is a pretty nice metallic pen uh, marker here, should I say. It's not like really fine, but it's pretty good. This one the color is just says blue. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah. So let's get into this part. Now, I don't know if anybody ever sit down and want to go through their um, their goals, but it's always nice to go through your goals. You know, if you ever sit down and be like, you know, what kind of goals do I have for myself? 
It could be your financial goals, it could be your life goals, it could be family goals, any type of goal that you may have, it's nice to write it down. In this case, these goals are financial goals because who won't be financially free or who won't be beyond their next paycheck, you know? So right now, I do write big, <laughs> so I wanna explain that to you guys, as you can tell in my last, I kinda write big. So with this, this is what we're gonna do. Now, so I'm gonna zoom you in here. And as we can see here for my first goal, now this was is all about the goals. If you don't know what my goals, are, want to know what my goals are, that is totally up to you. I get it, I understand everybody's goals are different. Um, but my first goal here is this. Start planning for a cruise. Now you guys are probably like, what are you trying to be debt free? And why are you over here trying to plan a cruise? That's just one I wanna put down because <laughs> this goal is a next year's goal. Um, the year that I want it to be is 2020. And this gives us time to look, we'll say, I know everybody say go on a cruise, depending on which one you want to do. I want to go to the Bahamas. Um, so they're saying about maybe through the months of August to maybe October, like around those months. So right now I am looking at different prices and things like that. Now this is a realistic goal because you can plan for some trips, you can plan for an event, whatever year in advance. And this gives me an opportunity like you know what i got this on the mind i'm gonna i should go ahead and just um like i said like plan you know start planning for this one of my goals i want me and babe to go on a cruise i mean why not you know what i mean so that's just one that i just had on my mind at the time of me writing down my goals and i'm like you know what i want to do this you know i've never been on a cruise before so that is something that I would really love to do. Um, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do this year, but I can't, I have a newborn. Like he literally just turned three months today. <laughs> so as far as everything, I was off for 12 weeks. Um, he came early on top of that. So I messed up my funds, I had to be off of work and, but it didn't matter, it's just the fact that, okay, maybe not this year, next year. So this, is my first goal <laughs> for now now goal number two and i see people use these all the time and i really do need to use and i don't know if you guys have any suggestions to which ones are great i am familiar with um oh my god the dave ramsey app but let me tell you what it is um Use apps to hold accountable. Now, I have not set up any apps yet versus, you know, what I want to do, and I will get there. But with the apps, I mean, I know they, I'm gonna do like how I did here, hold on. I know they track purchases. And then also, so that way lets me know if I'm staying on track of my budget. If you guys know, once again, any good apps out there that is really good as far as tracking your expenses, please let me know. And I actually, oh, every dollar. Yeah, that's what it is. Every dollar. I know the every dollar app from Dave Ramsey. Is there any other ones you guys want to put out there? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, and also, this lets me evaluate my progress, you know? I mean, come on now. I like to know where I'm at. I like to see where my money's going. I mean, there are days where I'm like, oh, I'm going to the dollar store. Oh, I'm going to go buy this. I'm going to buy that. And after a while, when you do little spending, 
it adds up to big, you know, big expenses sometimes. You be like, God, did I really spend $50 at the dang on dollar store? You know, it lets me know exactly where are my strengths, where is my weaknesses. Um, so getting an app is not bad. It's not bad at all. Now, goal number three um, is this. So I'm going to explain this one. Get beyond next paycheck. Now, getting beyond your paycheck is nothing wrong. Because getting beyond your paycheck, it helps you. Except for emergencies. Um, I mean, seriously, <clears throat> just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory that I have not explained and I have not been saying, but I've been saying, oh, I'll let you guys know if this change, if that change, if this change. I'm going to put this down for just a second. So, I'm at the point in my life where I've been needing to find another job, should I say? And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that right now there's so much going on with my job that is changing and integrating. And with the one company that's taking over this company... It's just that's what's going on with my job. So right now, we don't know if we're going to have a job tomorrow. You know, I did go back to work on Thursday. I am thankful for that. Um, but for how long, I do not know. It's so much going on right now. And not having a job stability is not good. So at some point, when I finally get stable, hopefully, and I am looking and I am, you know, doing what I need to do to get another job, I want to get beyond my next paycheck. I want to set for emergencies, you know. I mean, literally, anything can happen. I could lose my job today, guys. Like, or you can, anybody can lose their job today. I don't care where you work. It can happen. But getting beyond my next paycheck, planning for, you know what I mean? I want to have at least some good money set aside. And getting beyond my next paycheck is really a good mindset to have. Um, because it's like, what am I going to do if this happened, you know? But really, I kind of can tie goal three and goal number four together. Because goal number four is this. Somebody's about to start crying. Fun, rainy days. So pretty much like, it's just another way of saving. So... Um, I mean, you build funds and I want to have at least, I'm going to be realistic. If I can at least do this, if I could save, I'm sorry for the shakiness. If I could save up to at least two to three months worth of expenses, oh my gosh, that would be great. That would be great to have. Because if I do manage to lose my job or something happened where I can't work anymore, I need to do something, <laughs> you know? And it's always good to have. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more right now. Okay, and also... That gives me a little bit of peace of mind from unexpected, that looks kind of weird, but unexpected expenses as well. Um, and then, if you notice, you know, a lot of people, when you don't have the money to do things, what do we do? We do this. I'm 
mess that up. Stay out of credit card debt. This helps me stay out of my credit card debt. Because if you notice, if you can, if you have it, I know people can use a credit card for emergencies. There's, n there's nothing wrong with that. But also, if something was to happen, if I don't have the, the, the rainy day savings, you know, then it's, I'm going to swipe, 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 you know, and then you're in debt and then you owe this amount of money and blah, blah, blah. yeah, <laughs> just, just not, not, not good, not good. So here are my goals and I'm not going to say what I always say at every video. Um, crap, I need to, Ooh, I don't know what I did with my stuff. I need to use my my folio, well, my folder and stuff back here a little bit better. Yeah, it's not in there. All right, um, we're gonna do this. Hold on one second. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, kept this in there for reasons. Now, now I had to think about some things, and I definitely want to put out. Thank you so much, Shea Budgets, for this the the whole kit you see I've, i'm using and i'm using it guys look this is all i got left right now <laughs> it's not bad but um to be on a serious note i've noticed when people say i want to be on a debt-free journey but also i noticed even the debt-free journey i guess consists of eliminating credit card debt too but we need some type of ways to show payment towards stuff in order to make major purchases like houses and things like that. So I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to say, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Hold on one second. Wow. It's kind of crazy that we operate in this world to be in debt, but having to manage our debts. Now we was taught to how to be in debt. But never taught really how to manage our debts unless you really went into like a debt class, financial class, you know, things like that. And you know what, guys, I could talk about credit like all day and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So I had to think about my goal five. I literally had to think about my goal five. What is goal number five? Huh? What is that? I just really I can't say. I can have a realistic goal as far as saying, hey, I don't want no more debt than la la la. I have $55,000 worth of debt right now, okay? So my student loans, my car note, and credit cards and loans that I got that I explained to you guys in my debt, oop, <laughs> in my debt, oh wow, I messed up the camera, in my debt um, video that I had. But at the same time, I'm going to zoom you guys in. And right here. At the same time, this is just what I want to do. I can't tell you guys that I want to live in a debt-free journey because I still want to be able to build my credit. And I know people can go through this whole argument about credit stuff because I already have. And I'm not doing it with people, okay? But I want to tell you guys this, though. It's not a problem to do this. It's not a problem to do that at all. It doesn't cost a thing. Well, it does, but <laughs> it does. But at the same time, why not we just learn to manage our debts? Why not, you know? I would love to. I can't say I want to be living debt free. I could say I live debt free, but what am I accumulating? What am I showing? What kind of major purchases am I going to have? You know what I mean? Yeah, I have stuff that we paid off. But at the same time, I'm like, I want to have something to show. I don't know maybe it's just my way of thinking but that's just how i feel it's like be be darned if you do be darned if you don't you know so these are my goals for 2019 i am not too uh, mad about it at all so so really doing this goal video i just want to show you guys you know it's nice to have goals it's nice to write them down it's nice to you know what i mean so this lets me know like Later on during this year, I want to go back to my goals. And I'll be doing my goals every single month. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, It's nice to do your goals because it's like, okay, what, what do I really want to do? You know, what are your goals? Everyone's goals are different. 
You can't base your goals off mine. I can't base my goals off yours. But at the same time, it's like, have some realistic goals about yourself. What do you want to do in the next five years, two years? What do you want to do next month, you know? So, this is not bad. So, I want to start planning for a cruise. So, I am going to be sitting down looking at stuff, seeing how much price is going to be, how much payment is going to be, you know what I mean? Do all of that. Um, I'm going to get an app that can track my purchases and pretty much keep me up to par with my progress and my savings um get beyond my next paycheck you know set for my emergencies and kind of like i said three and four go hand in hand and just my fun my rainy day savings you know just like that um emergency fund that dave ramsey always talk about you know there's nothing wrong with that and then also number five of course just manage my debts just manage my debts I can't tell you that I want to live a debt-free journey. I do want to live a debt-free journey. But at the same time, the world re the world revolves around debt. And it sucks. But it's the truth. So, it is what it is. I just want to manage it a lot better than I'm doing today. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm explaining in this video to you guys. I don't want to be confusing. Um... This is, this is just how I feel, you know? So, it's not bad, but it is what it is. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know? So, that do concludes my video, guys. Thank you so much for viewing this video. If not already, please hit the subscribe. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. And also hit the bell to make sure you do not miss another video. Um, thank you guys so much for viewing this video and my last videos and we are all done so now we are good to go with the camera and we can shut everything off and also blow out some candles all right guys have a good day